Welcome to the newsroom. I am Esther Vesey. President Mohamed Buhari has praised two airport security men who returned a bag full of cash and valuables, saying their behavior reflects the new Nigeria we all desire. The act of honesty won over the president, who issued a press statement celebrating the men. Now, in the bag was a large amount of American dollars, a phone, a wristwatch, and other valuables, which was accidentally dropped by a woman at the Lagos airport. Security men in question, Francis Imwekbeaku and Archie Daniel, who also reportedly declined a cash gift from returning the bag, said they were just doing their duties. Moving on, Senate President Bukola Taraki has boasted that the People's Democratic Party will reclaim the presidential seat in the 2019 general elections. The former Kwara state governor, who defected back to the party in June, however urged all members to work together for the good of the party. He also urged the former PDP members who left the party because of his return to not get the wrong impression that he's back to hijack the party. The personal assistant on political matters to Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed, Olalekon Alabi, has filed an application before a Kwara State High Court sitting in Iloring. The application is seeking to commence committal proceedings against the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, for contempt of court. Alabi is asking the court to effect the service of Form 49, which is a notice of committal to prison on the IGP for disobeying the court's order directing his release from police custody. The total loans granted by banks to the private sector declined by 600.60 billion naira from 16 trillion naira in the first quarter of 2017 to 15.34 trillion naira in the second quarter of 2018. A report by the National Bureau of Statistics on selected banking sector data showed the credit to the private sector declined for six consecutive quarters. In other news, South Africans have hit back at U.S. President Donald Trump's tweet on the land reform debate. Trump has asked U.S. Secretary to the state, Mike Pompeo, to study South Africa and land farm seizures and expropriations and the large-scale killings of farmers. But the South African government rejected his comments, calling it a narrow perception. Things are moving fast in the case against Uganda musician turned member of parliament Bobby Wine. His lawyers say he has been rearrested by police after he was released on Thursday morning. Now, local media have also been reporting on the rearrest, which happened seconds after he was released from a military court. It appears the state may still pursue treason charges against him in a civilian court. In Libya, at least four people have been killed in a gun attack by suspected militants at a checkpoint east of the Libyan capital, Tripoli. The attack took place between the towns of Zaliten and Koms on the coastal road leading from Tripoli to the port city of Misrata. In sports, the Lagos state government has begun the upgrading and reconstruction of the Onikon Stadium near Tafar Balewa Square, Lagos Island. The upgrade comes nearly a year after Governor Akimomi Ambade's rehabilitation of the 5,000 capacity stadium. Footballers in Spain have not ruled out strike action over a plan to stage a top flight league match in the United States. Real Madrid captain Sergio Ramos and Barcelona vice captain Sergio Busquets were among the high profile players who met to discuss their concern over the issue. And that's the latest from our newsroom. Thank you very much for watching. I am Esther Vesey.